Welcome back to Our Issues Milwaukee. I'm your host, Andrea Williams. The Bronzeville Cultural and Entertainment District is inspired by Milwaukee's original Bronzeville District. Historically, Bronzeville brought all ethnicities together to celebrate African-American culture, highlighting jazz, blues, and the arts. And that's what Bronzeville Week 2018 is all about. Here to tell us more is Milwaukee's sixth district alderwoman, Malele Cox. Hi. Hi. How you doing? Good. And I know you are one busy lady, so <laughs> thank you so much for coming by. If you Thanks would, for, for starters, uh, here we are coming up on this fifth annual Bronzeville Week uh, happening August 4th through the 11th. Tell sixth us. Annual. Six. Mm -hmm. Okay. So six years strong. Mm -hmm. And if you would, tell us how it got started mm -hmm. and really what we can expect this time around. In 2005, the city of Milwaukee made the Bronzeville um, district, mm -hmm. uh, like you said, to pay homage to the former uh, Bronzeville district. Uh, when I got elected in 08, we started thinking about ways to draw attention to the Bronzeville area um, that maybe didn't involve big developments or anything like that, just people mm -hmm. um, recognizing the art and the culture um, in the area. So. Uh, Friends and I got together and thought about some different ways. And we said, what if we highlight some events that are cultural, that are artistic, and that people would come out um, and enjoy? And at first it started with a couple days, and mm -hmm. we kept adding on and adding on. So it's eight days of just full of family, fun, arts, culture, um, and free and open to the public. All right. And so uh, just to go over a couple of things to give people at mm -hmm. home an opportunity to mark it on their calendars, August 4th, you've got the Harumbi and that is a play on words of 5K walk and run for healthy birth outcomes. Talk a little bit about that. It's a great partnership we have with uh, United Way, mm -hmm. Freighter Hospitals, and all of the sponsors uh, for it. Uh, Tonda Thompson, a young lady who was a public ally at the time, who had gone through her own challenges with healthy birth outcomes with her own um, son who had passed away, mm -hmm. um, came to us and said, you already are doing this week. I really want to do this uh, run walk to raise awareness, particularly in the Harambe area, which is one of the zip codes most impacted in the city of Milwaukee with um, infant mortality. Mm -hmm. uh, and we started doing it a couple of years ago and it just grows and grows every year. A few hundred people participate um, each year. It's great to bring awareness um, to the issue and to bring people together. Absolutely, the Harambe uh, walk run. The registration is at 7.30 a.m. on August 4th and the walk will begin at 9 a.m. So people can register on that day on site, and just yeah. kind of take part in that. That's good stuff. And August 5th, this is huge. The Bronzeville Cultural and Arts Festival kicks off at 10 a.m. that day, goes till 6 p.m. What can we expect? So you can expect a whole lot of people, a whole lot of vendors, three stages. Uh, we have a, a children's stage, we have a main stage, and we have a gospel stage. Uh, Jam-packed with entertainment throughout the day, as well as usually over 100 vendors, um, and a whole bunch of good stuff. Um, it is an opportunity to, to see family, to see friends, and to just have a lot of fun. Um, this is our first time doing it on a Sunday, mm -hmm. um, so it'll, it'll be a heavy uh, gospel presence, I am sure. <laughs> um, but we cut off North Avenue from King Drive to 7th Street um, and kind of take over. The community takes over. It's a wonderful experience. I love the sound of it all, and they don't call us the city of festivals for right? nothing. That's for sure. <laughs> I mean, back to back, you can expect something. So uh, any other things that uh, stand out that people should know about that week? Uh, definitely on Tuesday the 7th mm -hmm. um, at, um, in the morning I believe at 1030 don't quote me on that <laughs> we um, we have a dedication uh, for the Val Phillips uh, street renaming all right um, as many know we passed legislation to change 4th Street uh, for uh, the Honorable Val Phillips where we'll be unveiling the signs on that Tuesday um, on 4th and North Avenue right outside uh, America's Black Holocaust uh, Museum and we'll have everything from historic discussions to we end the week with a art walk mm -hmm. there'll be over a dozen locations up and down King Drive um, in Bronzeville that highlight various artists um, and we'll have a trolley going back and forth so that you can visit each space um, and a variety of different um, entertainment happening throughout too and and that'll be until 8 p.m. Okay. on the 11th. A lot of good stuff, and yeah. it gives you chill bumps when you talk about dedicating uh, a street in honor of uh, the late, great yes, Val Valia yes, Phillips. Yes. Uh, so I'll never forget, I interviewed her one time, and she said if she came back, she'd come back as a Black Panther. <laughs> <laughs> and only go by the name Val Valia. <laughs> 
<laughs> so just a lot of great memories. Uh, and really, she uh, is such an anchor in so many things that um, matter to the yeah. people in this city. And uh, it's a great way to honor her and her legacy. And with that said, um, you mentioned America's Black Holocaust Museum, yes, yes. and uh, it's also refreshing and a chill bump effect to see that come back in a physical form, yeah. uh, along with the Grio Apartments in Bronzeville. All of this is pretty much like a $17 million yeah. development. Uh, how proud are you of that? I'm extremely proud. You know, early on, when I first got elected, people would say, Brownsville, what? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so now, you know, through the activities, through the events, and now through the development and physical investment, people can see yeah. um, all that has been worked on for so many years. You know, as soon as America's Black Holocaust Museum had to close, we were in constant discussion on how to bring it back. And through uh, much dialogue and some committed volunteers mm -hmm. and the family, Mr. James Cameron's family, um, we've been able to work with them to assist uh, and and helping them come back. Uh, and Melissa Goins from Moore's Development, I have to give her kudos oh, yeah. as a developer for staying committed um, to figuring out a way within her um, project of the Grio um, Apartments to give a home to um, America's Black Holocaust Museum right there on um, what now will be Val Phillips Avenue yes. and, um, and uh, North Avenue. Doesn't get better than that, yeah. it's awesome. So uh, what other projects or developments are happening in your district uh, that we can look forward to? So it's so many. <laughs> but but um, I know one of the highlights that's coming online very soon is Bader Philanthropy mm -hmm. is uh, moving their headquarters from Third Ward, I guess, um, to King Drive in Concordia. So, you know, all of the development isn't just in Bronzeville, it's yeah. some other great um, development happening um, in other places as well. That's good stuff. And I uh, just want you to tell our viewers as we wrap up. Uh, what they can do to help support all the positive things that are happening in Bronzeville. We've talked about the historic value of it and just uh, it's going to take support to keep it going strong and to make sure that it really is able to be uh, what it was to yesterday's mm -hmm. generation, you know, in the next generation, right? You know, in the, in the spirit of Bronzeville Week, we talk about art, culture, and mm -hmm. commerce. I think the biggest thing that people can do is support, yeah. uh, support with their dollar support with their advocacy and support with their attendance, whether it is an event, whether it is eating at the restaurants, shopping at the stores, or whether it is purchasing the artwork or coming to support when various events happen or coming down to City Hall to help advocate yeah. uh, when we want resources allocated and that kind of thing. Pete's Market, I think, is a great example of people advocating for what they wanted to see in Bronzeville and us fighting for it and receiving it. Yeah. So I think those are the many ways that people can um, can help support yeah. Bronzeville. And you've been on the front lines fighting and advocating, mm -hmm. so your constituents definitely are lucky to have you. And I'm guessing they can go to milwaukee.gov backslash Bronzeville yes. to get a full, uh, schedule. full schedule of what's going on during Bronzeville Week. Thank you so Thank you. much, and it's always a pleasure to talk always. to you. Malele Coggs is the Alder Woman for Milwaukee 6th District, and Bronzeville Week 2018 is happening August 4th through the 11th. It is the 6th annual so definitely make sure you're a part of it. When we return to Our Issues Milwaukee, we'll find out more about the historic King Drive bid number eight and how it's assisting King Drive when it comes to moving in a positive direction in regards to business, entertainment, and culture. We'll do that right after this.